Well, good morning boat lovers. Welcome to my first introductory video on building Dragonfly. A one-man project building a 16 meter or 53 foot flat bottom river cruiser designed especially for the lower lakes inland and sheltered waters of the Murray River here in sunny South Australia. I mean really how hard can it be? Right, so here's the boat. Well, I call it the boat. I guess it's in kit form, really. 138 sheets of 12 mil thick BS1008 British Standard Marine Plywood. All we have to do is put it together and turn it into a full size one of these. Right, well, here she is. I'll turn around so you can get, hopefully, get a bit of a view of the lines. I've tried to base her pretty much on the, the style of the gentleman's cruisers of the 20s and 30s, um, with a bit of a modern twist. She is, of course, 53 feet long, or 16.15 metres. I'll give you a bit of a walkthrough. She's designed primarily for two people in comfort with a permanent centre line queen berth up forward and then some makeup doubles and, and singles through the rest of the boat. See there, centre line queen up forward, full height um, head and shower, up into the main wheelhouse. Uh, one of the design features of the wheelhouse is um, to have sliding door on each side to, to allow access to these extra large side decks which are about half a meter in width so plenty of standing room there on each side for mooring etc the helm will be here on the left side and there will be some stairs running up here up onto this deck because we will have a second helm up there down these stairs into the main saloon area which will be a slightly different configuration to what you see here We'll actually have, instead of the central corridor, we'll have an offset door here and an L-shaped settee, which will convert into a, a double bed for guests, but still allowing enough uh, space for walking through without having to move the bed. Uh, and then through into the galley, quite large with the full-size uh, fridge, uh, gas stove, sink, etc. And then through into what I like to call my outdoor area. This back area will be enclosed with drop clears, canvases and of course mosquito netting. Um, this will also sleep uh, two people by converting that little table at the back into a double bed so that converts there and this is a full-size single bunk here as well. Um, I can hear you asking what are you going to power it with? Well that's an interesting question. Um, after much deliberation I decided I would power it with twin 60 horsepower four stroke outboards hidden under the aft deck. Um, so this of course will all be enclosed. The outboards will be hidden under here, which is great for the noise factor in the boat. Certainly from anywhere from about the saloon forward, you will not hear uh, engine noise while you're running. One of the reasons of having outboards is because um, we'll be in a lot of shallow water and course we can kick those engines up a little bit to get through the very shallow areas and if we get weed on the props we can tilt the engines up and from the swim platform on the back we'll be able to access those props. Okay one of the issues with flat bottom boats uh, is windage and skating because there's no keel to speak of 
the wind can catch the boat, push it from side to side, and they call that skating on the water. Not so bad when you're moving along at speed, but uh, going to moorings, um, close quarters, etc., when you're just idling along, it can be a bit of an issue. So I've designed twin keels, which drop down from the sides here. Uh, they'll go down about a metre into the water, so that should really assist with preventing any sideways slip. And then for really tricky moorings, I've also designed a retractable bow thruster to drop down from about here. Um, and the reason it's a retractable bow thruster is because it's a flat bottom boat. And so this front part of the boat here will only be about, at the most, six inches in the water. So there's no space to have a bow thruster running through the hull in a traditional sense. So this is gonna drop down essentially like a, like a tunnel in a drawer, drop down there and then pull up. So that'll be great when we're going into marinas and things and mooring next to other people's beautiful boats that they, they wouldn't appreciate us crashing into. So that's pretty much the, uh, the overall design. A good wide walk around here, um, almost 18 inches, um, or what's that, 18 inches, uh, 450 mil around the sides. And that will have railing, safety railing, of course. Um, and on the front, designed a system there to have a gangplank which will attach at the front and run down to the shore when we're pulling into shallow banks and things like that. The main area that this that I've designed this boat for is the, the Murray River and lower lakes and inland and sheltered waters of South Australia and Victoria and New South Wales as well. That river runs through three states, so we've got plenty of, plenty of water to play with, about 2,500 kilometres. I've factored in that we will be travelling a lot in very shallow water. At the bottom of the boat will taper up about 150 mil, six inches up to the front. And that will allow us to get right in close to those shallow banks and nose the front of the boat right up to the water's edge. I bought these Scotch Bright, and they are supposed to attach to my 150mm orbital sander and I thought they'd be very handy for washing down the hull, getting off the waxy bloom before I sand and paint the bottom. So let's have a look and see if they in fact, do what they say they're supposed to do. I scrubbed the whole hull down by hand last time before I sanded it and that was a lot of work. Okay, 
Well, that seems to be good. Thank you.